Instagram stories. This is my favorite communication channel. If you follow me closely, you know that I post on Instagram stories all the time. I want to post more communication with my customers than I already do. My vulnerability is content. That's why I like Instagram stories because I can post so many of them. And I'm telling you, the more you can communicate in a valuable way, the better relationship and ability you have with the customer to sell them something. So. Instagram stories are my favorite because you can do quick documentation and that's exactly what I would recommend doing. Instead of putting curated content, people expect the feed to be a little bit more summarized and curated. Instagram stories are a great way to show an authentic view on your business, on your personal brand, on whatever it is you're trying to do on these social media platforms. I tell my team, I tell myself, and I tell anyone we're working with, use those Instagram stories to immediately flip it around and tell your story. Tell exactly who you are, what you're doing, and then continue to use those Instagram stories every day when you're opening up shop, when you're unpackaging new items that you're gonna sell, when your team is having a meeting and talking about things. Document on the Instagram stories and put more summarized, curated things on the feed. What I would recommend is anywhere from 15 to 50 Instagram stories every single day. Don't overthink these. Tag people in them is an especially important thing because if you tag someone in them, they can repost to their story. Making sure that you tag someone in every type of story that you can is important because then it has shareability. Hashtags or tags will give you more shareability on Instagram stories and that's a way you can distribute that content. After you're posting all day, after you're documenting, after you're showing an authentic view on the Instagram stories with the little clips that you're not overthinking, you need to think about, okay, how can I show these to more people? Tagging people and using hashtags in those stories are a huge way to do that. Next on Instagram stories is if you have the ability to link something in those stories, it's always a good idea. Remember, if you link something in your stories, people can swipe up to get to a landing page that you want them to get to. Whether I'm talking about catering, whether I'm talking about a specific product and giving the behind the scenes of catering or that specific product, I can swipe up to an inquiry page or I can swipe up to a Shopify page where I'm selling my thing and doing my thing on Instagram stories. So linking something in your stories is a huge, huge win. Use these Instagram stories all day long, show that authentic view and don't overthink them. Just put them on there because they're only gonna be there for 24 hours and I got a feeling you're gonna wanna go back in a long time and if nothing else, just look at what you were doing on a particular day, it's documentation. The last thing I'll say about Instagram stories is documentation. If someone wants to know something about me or my business, they can go look at those Instagram stories and see what we're up to every single day. It gives almost credibility. It's almost like a resume for a personal brand. It's almost like a it's almost like a pitch for a business because you can see exactly what that brand's about. You don't just see the curated, you don't just see the here's what I claim to be. You get to see the behind the scenes, the everyday. So make sure you're showing you putting in the work, make sure you're showing your behind the scenes, make sure you're showing your business caring and and doing more things for the customers. Give that behind the scenes, build credibility and use those Instagram stories.